Welcome to our channel. In this video we will demonstrate the use of the SV4401 EVNA to observe data and adjust the proper antenna length. When the SV4401A is powered on, we can see that the lines on the screen are cluttered, so we can cancel the unwanted display and leave only two traces. There are two types of data we need to measure the antenna, one is the SWR. We click on Format and select SWR. The second is that we need to see the Smith chart. Tap on Trace 2 and turn S21 into S11. Long press again and tap on Format and click on Smith chart. What is presented now is as concise as we need to see. Now we can start the calibration, the antenna used this time is around 14 MHz, so let's start by setting the start and end frequencies to 13 and 15 MHz respectively. We click on Stimulus, and then on Set Frequency and enter 13 MHz and Start. And then 15 MHz in Stop. Now we're back to the main menu for calibration. Press Cal, and remember to press Reset each time you calibrate. Next, press Calibrate, and then take out the calibration kit provided in our package. What you have in your hands might be slightly different from what I'm using now. This one is SMA, but the usage is the same. Put the Open Calibrator on and click Open. Next is Short. And finally, Load. In fact, we have completed the calibration of the measurement antenna, the fourth through is not needed when measuring the antenna, so this time directly press done. Next, there will be a place for storage. We have a total of 10 storage locations available. Here, we select 5 to store our calibration. This way, we won't need to recalibrate every time, we just need to go back to save recall, choose recall, and we can find the calibration results we saved earlier. An OSL hashtag is displayed here after calibration. Now, we can connect the antenna and begin to use it. Because above 3 is actually not usable, so we may want to adjust the step size of the vertical axis. We long press S11, select scale, and input an interval, for example, 0.3. But this is a bit too small, so we can change it to 0.5. This display range is just right, SWR below 3 can be used, and above it cannot be used. The antenna is now connected. Here we are using the M104 portable antenna. Let's set the two marks because I want to look at the highs and lows and know what range I'm in that's available. Adjust both markers 2 and 3 to the position where the SWR is 3. Marker 2 is at 14.160 and marker 3 is at 14.520. This means that within this range, we can use it. If we want to play CW around 14.023, it's not within this range. If I want to use it, I'll have to adjust the antenna length. Now that I'm off the car, I need to extend the antenna a bit. We need to shorten it further. Now, it's around 14.052, which is usable. We can start CW communication. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in this product, feel free to visit our official website for more details and information. You can purchase directly from our official website or choose the nearest distributor.